In this video, I wanted to talk about cooking white rice in the Instant Pot. I have some jasmine rice here that I'm gonna cook up for you, but I'm also gonna talk about basmati rice and long grain white rice. There are a lot of recipes out there for white rice uh, that vary. There's also a rice button on the Instant Pot. You're just gonna have to play with it to find the kind of rice you like. I'm gonna be sharing what we like in our house, which is a pretty al dente, not mushy uh, rice that has a pretty even rice to water ratio. Now, as far as the rice button goes, I do not use this very often, and it's not to say that you can't get good rice uh, using the rice preset, but it does cook the rice on low pressure for 12 minutes and I can get just as good results cooking it on high pressure using the pressure cook button for four or six minutes depending on the kind of rice. And so if I can cook it in four or six minutes, why would I cook it for 12 minutes? But there are tons of people who use the rice preset and they swear by it and it makes great rice. Now real quick on the screen, I will put up the maximum amount of rice you wanna cook in your Instant Pot. And this is assuming that you're using a one to one ratio of rice to water. If you're using a higher ratio of water, then you're not gonna be able to cook quite as much. You just wanna make sure that you're not going over the one half mark on the inside of your Instant Pot. It's really easy to remember the maximum amounts of dry cups of rice that you can cook in each Instant Pot size because the three quart you can cook three cups, in the six quart you can cook six cups, in the eight quart you can cook eight cups. All right, I'm gonna get started with cooking up this jasmine rice and I will say here at the beginning that this method works for both white jasmine and white basmati rice. It also works for long grain white rice. I just increase the cook time to six minutes on the long grain white rice and four minutes on both the basmati and the jasmine. The first thing I'm gonna do is rinse my rice. I'm using two cups of rice for this demo. But of course, here in the six quart Instant Pot, I can cook up to six cups. I have heard it recommended though, that if you're gonna be going to the max amount of rice, you probably wanna add a couple minutes to the cook time. I've had no trouble cooking up to four cups of rice with the four minute cook time that I'm gonna do right now. So I added two cups of rice, now I'm adding two cups of water, and then a big pinch of salt. And you can add oil or butter to your rice, depending on your preference, you don't have to. It's an optional step, but it does work well to keep down any foam that might uh, come up. But I haven't had trouble with white rice foaming at all. Lock my lid. Make sure the steam release valve is on sealing. Cook time is four minutes on high pressure, so I'm pressing pressure cook making sure that it's adjusted to high pressure. You can adjust the pressure level with the pressure level button. And I have it already set on four minutes. I'm gonna let it cook for four minutes and then I'm gonna let it natural pressure release for five minutes. I usually find that's enough time, natural pressure releasing, but you can leave it up to like 15 minutes. After that, you run the risk of the rice getting mushy. Cook time finished and the pressure has been releasing naturally for five minutes, so now I'm gonna quick release the rest. The rice is perfectly cooked. It comes up off the bottom of the pot really nice. Real quick, I'll give you a couple tips on the rice paddle that comes with the Instant Pot. It has this little divot here so that you can lay it on your pot just like that when you're serving rice. It also has a flat bottom here so you can stand it up on the counter next to your rice. And then last, there's these little feet here so when you lay it down on the counter like that, it doesn't get the counter all dirty. The last thing I wanna touch on in this video is cooking pot in pot rice. And this is a great technique for cooking uh, your whole meal just in one pot. If you have something cooking down on the bottom like a curry or um, some kind of a stroganoff or meat sauce that you want to put over rice, you can actually cook the rice in a pot above the other dish that you're cooking and you can get both done at the same time. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you real quick. 
So what you need for cooking pot and pot rice is a trivet that has tall legs and you can find these on Amazon easily and you want to have the tall legs because it's going to sit over top of whatever you're cooking underneath and then a stainless steel or glass pan or bowl that will fit on top of that while still allowing the lid to close. This pan is from a stacking set where you have two on top of each other that you can cook in the Instant Pot, but I often like to use just one pan on top of a trivet cooking something underneath. Pot and pot rice is great for recipes that have a cook time of between six and about 25 minutes. Uh, it turns out that rice cooked in the pot and pot method does not overcook easily uh, just because it's not right on the heat at the bottom and so you can leave it in the pot for up to like 25 minutes and usually it has no problem but you want to have a cook time of at least six minutes because it doesn't cook quite as fast in um, the pan at the top as it does touching the bottom of the pot. So of course if I'm cooking a dish I'm going to have liquid on the bottom of the pot but since I don't have it right now I'm going to add one cup of water into the pan I'm putting one cup of rinsed jasmine rice, one cup of water, and a big pinch of salt. I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. Make sure my valve is to sealing. I'm gonna put the cook time on here for eight minutes and let the pressure release uh, for at least five minutes when it's done cooking, and then I will show you what it looks like. Five minutes since the cook time finished. Now I'm quick releasing the rest of the pressure. And that's how easy it is to cook rice above your other dish. Rice is perfectly cooked. You can see, just gorgeous. So that is what I have for you about white rice in the Instant Pot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will be back again real soon.